everyone welcome back i'm so happy you're here and of course i hope you already have an amazing day so far for everyone who is new here welcome my name is yanni and i'm doing this all about christmas channel of course i will keep it short on this channel you will find lots and lots of seasonal diys and daily decor diys if you like this content of course i hope you click the red subscribe button and give me a thumbs up if you want to see more diys come on over to my description box there you find all the links for our other diy channels i also do together with diane so go check it out and for now i hope you get out your tumblr tower blocks too and of course if you will only want to watch have fun watching everyone for this diy we need of course our tumblr tower blocks we need some uh, wax uh, of a paint at your choice i have here the wax and the scoreboard paint some glue sticks uh, a little a knife and of course some mud podge uh, some wood glue my glue gun and of course, you see here already behind me, it's a swim noodle, but I try to show you that this is a swim noodle, which is not open on the inside. This is a closed uh, noodle. So I hope I, you can find also one is closed. So he's a little bit big for on, on my table, but this is what we will use for this DIY. The first uh, thing what we are going to do is we're going to take one block. And we are going to take our swim noodle. I hope I don't kick you over <laughs> or else you are laying on the ground watching to me. <laughs> but that is not a great thing. What I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, take my block and I place it uh, next to my swim noodle. And I'm going to uh, cut off, um, I think, a little bit more uh, like one third. So like this. And I'm just going to do this way. And I'm just cut off. A little piece like this so i have a little base to glue my blocks on this is already one but what we're going to do we're going to take a block extra we are going to do two blocks so again we are going to i have to remove my blocks because they are in the way <laughs> so we are going to go a little bit lower so we still have one third of the first block and the rest we do extra so we're going to do like this it will be a little bit bigger i'm sorry for the noise but i wanted to show you also i can do it of course be, uh, when the camera is off but then you don't see what i'm doing this is already number two so we have a smaller one and a bigger one and we are going to take a block number three so we take three blocks just lay them together we still need one third of this block and then we're going to go and cut it off like this so we get three different sizes and you see i will place them over here you can see them much better right now this is already the base for the three pieces we are going to make what we're going to do we're going to lay two pieces apart and we are going to start with the smaller one what we're going to do we are going to get some glue and we're going to go glue this over and over against each other so i will i never did it before on a swim noodle so i'm really hoping that this will work and i think when i measured out right i need nine blocks these are again the bigger blocks these are the seven by 2.3 and one centimeters of course this is one this is 2.3 and this one is 7 but from the dollar tree they are a little bit smaller so it doesn't matter you do only need a couple of blocks extra and i think if you want to do it uh, correctly i would use uh, two double blocks when you use the smaller ones for this size and for this size i would do three or four and for this one i think five or six just double it up because the small blocks are really uh, much smaller or else if you like the uh, pieces more small, then you have to can use the same uh, measurement. But then you have to uh, cut this one smaller and you have to cut the other one smaller and this one smaller. So I'm going for like the big, bigger blocks. And now I hope this will glue. So I'm going to do some glue on the underside of my block. And I'm going to place it just on the corner like this. And I know the glue is hot glue, so I 
hope he doesn't um, eat up my uh, noodle because the noodle is from a kind of structure that is not really fond of um, hot glue but I don't have the glue I think I need for this piece so I'm going to go over and over already we have a little opening over here i used uh, three four five six seven eight nine blocks but still there's a little gap we don't like that so i always have laying around a little bag with half blocks i always say uh, i did say it already a lot of time in uh, other diys always uh, make one pack of your um, tumbler towel blocks and cut them in half maybe your husband can do it or maybe you can do it uh, yourself always take one block and cut them in half so you always have laying around little pieces of uh, half blocks so i'm going to do some glue over here and i'm going to squeeze it in between like this so we get a nice little round again and you see this is how he turned out and now we already have a little a small container and we are going to make now from the second size we are going to do two blocks but what we're going to do first we are going to make a uh, nine rows of two before we're going to glue it because i like it uh, better when i have it already together like this so do on the top some glue and squeeze it and press it down like this and we are going to make nine of this one because i think we need nine at least i hope we make <laughs> nine so this is already number two and i'm going to do the rest a little bit faster we have all our nine pieces of two and we are going to do the same look for which one is the most sturdy on your table and looks the straightest because uh, sawing with a knife is always a little bit tricky if you have it uh, straight or not so i'm going to go for this one so i'm going to do some glue i think maybe this time i'm doing the glue on top of my um a piece of uh, my swim noodle i don't know if this is a great idea or not i think i'm not going to do it no i'm not going to do it i'm a little scared that he will melt away so i'm going to do my glue but not totally to the top only until here and then we're going to place it on our swim noodle and just keep it in place for a couple of seconds until it's dried up it dries a little bit slower because this is um i think a kind of plastic i think maybe some styrofoam uh, idea i don't know but of course take your time for it because that's the main thing what you will do take your time and you see and my glue is already finished always when my camera is running you see i'm just an amateur like everyone else i'm always with run out of glue <laughs> but don't worry i always say great you give yourself some grace and place it against the other one and try to get the lines as even as you can this is already number two and so the rest we go and do a little bit faster
just uh, I had nine pieces of this one and maybe I squeezed a little bit harder I didn't need uh, an extra half piece uh, for um, placing it in I needed it for the smaller one but like I said maybe if you squeeze it a little bit harder on top of your swim noodle maybe it uh, fits nine a little bit better so what we're going to do now we're going to take the next one and we need of course three blocks and we are going to glue three blocks in a row like this and also we are going to make nine of three uh, pieces of nine are finished what we only need to, to do of course go check out the lines where you glued it together if there is not too much glue on the sides because you have to uh, get it away because your piece will be much prettier if you just remove your glue so I'm going to take my piece of styrofoam again and I'm going to like I said glue it the same way like we did with the other ones already all three of them and I am at least I'm really happy how they turned out so you can very easy make around uh, with the tumbling towel blocks uh, what I'm going to do because I didn't tell you in uh, when we started this DIY when I told you what we needed for this DIY normally I say what we're going to make but I really had no idea and I still have no idea what this will turn out you can use it I see like candle holders you can use it as planters I really have no idea what we're going to do step by step is see how this will turn out. What we're going to do right now, I'm going to make a riser and I hope I'm going to make a different one like normally. Now we have our three uh, containers or just how you call it. We are going to make three rows of eight blocks together like this. Just squeeze them, press them down and again another one and we are going to do this in a moment a little bit faster because i think you already know how to make three rows of eight blocks <laughs> I have my three rows of eight and I'm going to glue them together with some wood glue to give it a little bit more sturdiness because it is a bottom so I'm going to give it a little bit more uh, that it can handle a little bit more weight so I'm going to do this with some wood glue of course you can use also a lot of people have E6000 if I am correct that's not something we have here in the Netherlands so we have different uh, kind of glue and just place them against each other and of course also before you glue it look for which parts are uh, fitting the best so you get the less 
uh, openings because you don't want all the openings and just squeeze it a little bit that's the great thing about wood glue you still can readjust it and i'm going to place a con container a wooden of a uh, container from paint on top of here to give it some pressure so it dries a little bit better and you see already our bottom is dried up and of course you can still can see a little uh, different in sizes this one is totally straight but if you look at this one you see already the top is a little bit higher but that's uh, in every package you find a couple of blocks which are not the same size so what we're going to do i also uh, have a bag like it uh, just showed you with the blocks in half just the block and then in half but i also made a package full of blocks which i did cut off only the corner like this i just cut off this corner so i have a full package with only this kind of blocks i thought i thought maybe i can use them for something you never know and now they can i'm going to do two sides this side and this side i'm going to glue together like this way and we're going to place it on top of here maybe i can do it to you together maybe it's a little bit faster to, to tell you and you don't get bored <laughs> so i'm going to do two of them together and this two over here the same way and i chose for the lines which are this way and i'm going to go for the full size with an extra block in between so i'm going to do some glue on here i'm going to place them together this way and of course now we're going to do some glue on the underside and this way and we're going to place exactly in the middle and this way and we do in the opposite direction the same just glue them together this way squeeze it and press it down and remove the glue and we do some glue on the underside this way and again in the middle and this way and now we already have the first part of our yeah kind of little tray i don't know how you want to call it now we're going to take again two of this one of the oh this way and we're going to glue a full block in between so very easy just do some glue on this side glue it together this way and we're going to do the other one some glue over here and place it on this way and this is so easy to make so if you are bored and you don't want to see how i make it please go ahead skip forward i totally understand that sometimes uh, the diy takes a little longer of your time but for everyone who enjoys it to see how i make it i of course i do it uh, with uh, all the steps and this we do some glue and we glue it exactly on top of here in between and squeeze it and press it down and this is already a one and we're going to do the last one again some glue and some glue over here and we only need to place it together and this way and you see already you have another one and we're going to glue the last one on top of our bottom and again over here exactly on the blocks they are laying down and this and squeeze it and press it down and now you get yeah, a little kind of tray it's not really a tray but I hope it will look like in a, uh, later on in the cake stand but we will see how this will turn out now my little tray or top is finished what i'm going to do i'm laying it apart and i am really loving the round look of my um, pieces which i have standing on top and i don't know if it will be a planter or a candle holder you can use it for anything uh, what i'm going to do i'm going to take two blocks like this lay them together like we did earlier and I'm going to take my swim doodle again and my knife and I'm going to measure it out 
the size I need to have, but I'm not going to do one third. I'm going to make it a little bit wider, like this, so it is a little bit longer. I hope I have it in the straight line, like this. And this is already a one, you see? And we are going to make the same one like we did with the two tops. We are going to make nine pieces of two. But are we going to do that faster? So I have my nine pieces of two and I'm going to get my uh, slice of uh, swim noodle what we just cut off. I'm going to again do some glue on the here and you see now we only have left over a small piece of um, the blocks. We are going to do again some glue. Not totally to the top but almost. And we're going to lay it down over here and squeeze it and press it down. And this is already a number one. And so I'm going to go hip totally in the round, but I will do that out of camera. I won't bore you with that again. And here the feet of our tray or stand is finished. Uh, what I'm going to do before I'm going to paint it, I'm going to paint this one in the black color. All the rounds are in the going into black color. Uh, what I'm going to do, first I'm going to give it a feet. This is the top, this is the middle, and this will be the feet of our cake stand. Because you can also use it separately. You don't have to use it with the uh, containers I made over here. So we are going to do it very easy. Just five blocks like this. Over here, oh, I am already <laughs> stuck to my table. I'm going to do number three and press it down. Don't forget to press it down or else it will be not totally flat. And it has a little, um, now here in the Netherlands we call it bowling. So, and this is number four. And we need number five. That will be the last. And then we're going to make another one of five. And then we already have our bottom of our tray. This is one and number, and we're going to try to do it a little bit faster so you don't have to wait that long. Of course, and one, and of, I have to do, of course, this way. I always this way. If you do it too quickly, you make mistakes, <laughs> you make mistakes. But you have all the time. I can make the mistakes and you can do it in the time you need. And again, on the side. And we are gluing it together. This way. And squeeze it and press it down. And before we glue our cake stand together, like I said, I'm going to uh, paint all the round in the black color. For all my round pieces, I'm going to use my um, scoreboard paint because I like the matte finish of my scoreboard paint. But you can give it any color you like and be sure that you go very nicely inside of the, the lines. I, actually, the openings, that's what I mean. The lines, the openings, like this. So everything gets a nice paint color. So take your time for it. My black rounds are drying. What I'm going to do, I'm going to do on the bottom of my stand, I'm going to do four little fills because I don't want to scratch my table. So I'm going to do four of them before I'm going to place it in some furniture racks. Over here and again the last one over here. But you don't have to do it if you don't uh, like this. It's also fine to I'm always uh, be prepared on my furniture. What I'm going to do, I'm going to get my wood glue and I'm going to glue first the middle piece on top of the smaller bottom and then I'm going to do it on the top of the tray. So very easy. I'm just going to do some wood glue uh, on here this way. I have to, I have to turn it off. 
turn it over this way and I'm going to do some wood glue because I think it's more gives more steadiness than I do my glue gum and I don't want that my stand is falling down over here over here and of course I do something in the middle but I don't think it will stick because it's a totally different um, structure than wood is but I always say why not we are going to place it in the middle and I have to look that I have it in the middle of course I can change it a little bit I think I am almost in the middle like this and I'm going to let it dry and then I'm going to place this upside down do some wood glue over here and then I'm going to place this top over here so I wait a couple of minutes I know it's not uh, too long I have to <laughs> probably I will have to wait longer but I am impatient so I'm going to do some glue on the ending over here and just let it dry in and this way I try to keep it in the middle circle over here so not too much is coming out on the other side this way and this way so what I'm going to do I'm going to turn over my uh, tray and I'm going to turn over this one and I'm going to get it on top of here and then I'm going to do some uh, paint can on top of here to give it some weight Yes, I did it. I did turn it around without everything breaking and <laughs> breaking down. So it is drying right now and I did a can of paint on top of it to give it again some pressure. So we will let it dry and I see you in a moment. My tray is almost dried up. What we still need to do because he is of course uh, not uh, uh, worked with, with some paint or with some wax. And I'm going to do some wax but if you want to paint it you can paint it much earlier than you glue this piece uh, in between because uh, if i would do it with the wax it never the glue is never sticking so that's why i do always the wax a little later so i'm sure that my glue sticks all, uh, all right but if you just want to paint it and you want, want to paint it in a white color or maybe totally in the black then you can paint it earlier before you glue everything together but i did have to wait so I'm going to take again some simple furniture wax you also use in your home. So don't pay too much. I'm going to do both of the pieces. Of course not the underside but this and the top and the underside in some furniture. And you will see how nice and, and like a rustic color it gets. And I am so in love always with the rustic color. But it's just my privilege. A lot of people like uh, also the white colors. The uh, white chalk paint colors and a little bit of the olive green so do whatever you think is right olive green would also stand very nicely on top of the tray so go ahead and do whatever you think is right so i will finish this off and then we're going to decorate our three uh, i call them containers you call them any way you like but i think for me they are three containers <music> everything turned out you see our cake stand or tray on a, on a stand just how you call it uh, my three uh, black containers what I'm going to do I'm going to decorate them with some greenery I have some boxwood uh, picks like this from a garland and this is also greenery from a garland and I have some yellow lemons I have some uh, this kind of greenery i don't know if you know how this is called which greenery this is uh, let me know in the comments because i really have no idea i just uh, look for what i like and then i take it with me because everything is uh, from a garden center here in the netherlands and he always have the greatest greenery and flowers for a really great price so i'm always very happy with it and i use this green of this yellow flowers like this this is what I'm going to use and you will see in a moment the end reveal how I decorated it and I hope you enjoy it and I hope you like to see how it turned out.
see finally a quick impression how our Tumblr Tile Blocks DIYs turned out and I am really happy with the tray or stand just how you call it because I love you can decorate it for any season you don't have to do it with the three containers I did at least I call them containers I know there probably are a different word for it but I call them containers I did it with some green with but you can also do it for the Christmas season with some snowmen on top you can do it with some uh, pumpkins on top for the fall season so you can use it for any season i hope you did this diy together with me and if you did i hope you also enjoy your new diy and for everyone who loved to watch of course i hope you had fun watching do you want to see more diys come on over to my description box there you find the link for this channel and um, of course our main channel deco easy so enough to see i hope to see you there and if you're not subscribed i hope you click the red subscribe button it doesn't cost you anything and it would help my channel a lot enough talking i know i know i wish you all an amazing day see you next time bye